Hello, everyone. Today, we're thrilled to have the Daniel, the healer, a holistic healer with a unique blend of spiritual insight and practical wisdom. And his extensive background in holistic health and energy healing offers valuable perspectives on how we can connect with our inner selves and create a more fulfilling reality. So this is all exciting about the blend that we're going to hear right here with Daniel. So Daniel, Well, hello, hello. Nice to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, please. We're grateful for you and that you're stepping in and just bringing in some more details for us to open our minds and see about another angle to focus on and everything. All right. <laughs> so what does spirituality mean to you and how can you understand it enhance our daily lives? Well, let me backtrack a little bit here. Uh, we're basically divine beings. We're made of the same stuff as the divine. Uh, all, all of existence, not just in a physical, but also in the non-physical, is made out of light. And so God and goddess are made out of light, and we're made out of light. And so we are divine. Now... Unfortunately, and as humans, we have a built-in desire to meet the divine. And unfortunately, that was a little bit twisted. Some people realized that they could um, control other people by creating religions. And so spirituality to means mean it means having an inner relationship with the divine. See, in religion, uh, you have an outer religion, relationship with the divine through the minister, the priest, the rabbi, the, the Bible, the Quran. Uh, all these things tell you and, and tell you what to do. And we've been kind of bamboozled by it, so to speak, because uh, salvation comes through if you've been a good person, you'll go to heaven. And so we're all kind of being told you're to behave in certain ways. But in spirituality, all this external stuff falls away. And you have a direct connection with the divine. And as such, then you become self-validating. You become free from the matrix because you don't need to play that game anymore uh, because you know yourself, whatever your behavior is, whether you're going to go to heaven or not. So you want people to focus on their normal habits as their behavior. So just, you know, what your normal habits are, what your behavior is, is what directs you to the this angle. So what are your habits right now? That's how you would get people to get into that? Because I like to use the word habits as that's what you're doing on a regular basis. Well, my habits are that I have a, a seed on, on the spiritual levels. Um, there's There's dimensions. Each dimension has a higher vibration. It's all vibrational. We're in the lowest three dimensions of existence. Depth, width, and height. The cube in which we live here in the physical world in 3D. The fourth dimension is time-space. And so the cube of 3D lives inside time-space. But when you go beyond these dimensions, you go into the timeless. And so being spiritual and having an inner connection uh, with the divine, you cannot, quote unquote, you know, say, oh, I'm going to speak with God and goddess. It, it's, too, it's too intense. They're so enormous in their presence that we would just be obliterated. And so my way of dealing with my daily habits is to quote unquote have a conversation with the other side. And I go to the 
ambassadors and representatives of the divine, which are your spirit helpers, your soul, and your higher self, because they're just one or two dimensions higher than what we are. And so my whole routine on a daily basis is that I, I communicate with my team. I call it my spirit helpers. You know, we call them your guardian angels. Um, the thing, the, those individuals, those entities that quote unquote sometimes save you in dire situations and, and help you stay protected and, and, and healthy and well. I hear you because that is amazing. I <laughs> you just feel that connecting vibe and just keeps me high. You see all the energy and joy. I just cannot stop jumping. It's just amazing when you just free your mind. The rest will follow. Yeah. And then um in what ways can spirituality contribute to the personal growth and healing, the healing portion? When you come into this reality, when when you're born. Basically, uh, we do this several times. We come here, we go through a life, we, we go back um, to where we came from. Um, you, you are your soul. Yeah. So between lifetimes, when you are in the eternal now, when you exist there, you're in your soul. And as, as your soul... From time to time, you decide, oh, I, I want to deal with this issue. I want to um, maybe learn about being more loving or figure out this thing about freedom or figure out this thing about empowerment and, and or, or whatever. And so in your soul state, you, you the call goes out. I'm looking for... Uh, two volunteers to be my parents. And, and uh, I'm, this is kind of what I wish to create uh, in this lifetime. This is what I, I want to achieve. This is um, what I'm interested in. And so um, if, if you're interested in, for instance, and I'm not saying everybody is, but sometimes we are because we do wish to experience everything there is. So this this lifetime, I want to experience pain. I want to experience rejections. So I'm looking for a couple of parents that are going to be real nasty to me. And so eventually, a couple of volunteers show up and they say, yeah, we'll, we'll do this because we, we want to experience how what it feels to be real nasty to somebody else. And so you shake hands and um, then in, in their physical Ness, they they um, create a, an infant, um, and when the infant is born, or it's somewhere between birth, uh, somewhere between conception and three days after birth, you who you are, you take a little bit of that soul self, and you come through the veil of time space, and you attach to this body, and so now you're here, now you're. And, and you're, you need to know you're not your body. You and your body are a team. The body is the one that carries you around. And you are the one who gives the body the uh, intelligence to function. Because what happens just when you die, when you die, it's like, okay, I've got, I did everything I needed to do in this life. I'm going now to disconnect from the body and go back into my soul state. And then the body is without intelligence. And so it's just going to fall apart. You know, if you die and, and nobody picks you up within two, three days, you start to decompose and you, you smell bad. Oh, okay. Well, how does that healing work? Like what benefits an individuals can expect from the free online services you've got? I mean, you have them exact steps that they can do different ways to free themselves from these? Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a holistic healer. So that means that I am able to heal circumstances on the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. Now. Great. All right. 
So you just give people tips on that. And, and and how they interact. Now, sometimes people have issues that come from other lives. The un, unfinished business. <laughs> uh, sometimes they suffer because they did some really, really bad thing in another life and they think that they have to atone for their misdeeds. And so I learned how to negotiate. I learned how to negotiate with other parts of the individual. And the guy can con contact their soul, the higher self, to see what their life path is. I can deal with their conscious, subconscious, and unconscious minds. I can deal with their inner child, inner adolescent, inner young adult. Because sometimes if you had traumatic experience as a child, then, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, especially for women, you, little girls need to be uh, seen, not heard. And so women have a greater issue with standing up for themselves. And so you, you and then they're trying to, but they can't do it. And maybe the two or three year old had a temper tantrum and she was punished severely for speaking up. And so the little one is now intervening in, no, you can't do this. You can't do this. You're not going to be safe. You're going to be punished, etc. So I know how to negotiate and heal pain in the past, which then yeah, for you to become spiritual, you have to clean up your past. You, you have to be clear on every level with all the misdeeds that were done to you and all your misdeeds that you have done with others. So now uh, my free healings, by the way, which you also asked, is on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I do a free online uh, energy healing service. Uh, it's free. You just need to go to my website, IHealYourPain.com. And the first time you need to register, and then you can participate as many times as you want. Oh, okay. So they can do and They can see all the details on that chat. You see the chat? I put that one. So your website is at the I Heal Your Pain thing? That's correct. Get this one on that one until free. <laughs> well, that makes all the sense. Just seeing about mm -hmm, dropping the past, because, man, that's essential when you just free your mind. The rest will follow. I just love it when we just move forward and don't carry all that mm, all that baggage, all the baggage in your mind. That's what it was. <laughs> when we walk around and just stay free, <laughs> that's when all the freedom and relaxation stays on us, right? That's one thing in there that I connect. I love to just walk and just free connecting right there with the spirit. But what practical steps do you um, have, you know, incorporating spiritual um, practices into the routine for their, for daily lives, for that connecting vibe there? Well, to me, the absolutely, and that's a really short answer. The absolute quickest way is to start establishing a, a relationship, an ongoing dialogue with the other side. I'm going. Now, you don't need to speak out loud. You can speak in your mind. At the beginning, it feels like you're speaking into the void because, you know, you're like on the telephone and you're speaking, blah, 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 and you don't hear because we're not in tune, but in, eventually you will learn you in through your meditative practices. Eventually, you will learn to receive information. That's vital. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and that just shows that we're all different, right? Yes. That's why I love walking. That's why I, clearly I love walking, and it just gives me reality. The Connecting meditation time and everything and it just directs me to a word. And that's and, when I just focus on that one for a minute and then come back into the deeper. Right. Room. And you you walk in nature or are you in the city? Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, and, and the nature portion. I don't like, you know, a lot of things around, but I do definitely like to walk in the personal personal spots where, you know, yeah. nobody else is gonna come up to me. So being in nature is is so connecting. 
because nature is very much divine as well. And there's all the nature spirits and you can tune into a spirit of the tree and, uh, and you can go and hug a tree and, <laughs> and feel, feel the peace. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I love it and just seeing all of it because, man, watching everything like the moon and the stars and everything like that just coming. It's just so beautiful and everything. You just go and just don't take anything for granted. I just love appreciating everything that we see regularly and just mm -hmm, enjoy and just recognize how all of it is within us. <laughs> we carry ourselves like a diamond because I carry myself as a beautiful diamond Tyra Banks. So just keeps that in my mind. And yes, I'm a Tyra Banks for the Holy Spirit and I just keep jumping for joy. Love yes, it. you're you're on your way. <laughs> it's all of it, but hey. You're just <sighs> directing in your big counselor right there. So I'm sure more folks will see the right angles that you'll direct them to, right? So what's the most important lesson that you um, want people to learn and, you know, what's, you know, the steps that you're going to be able to give? I think overall the most important lesson I've learned is that I'm immensely, immensely loved. Love. We're all loved beyond belief. It's, there's so much love out there for us. All we need to be able is to let it in. Most often, we're our most, um, we're our biggest enemy in that regard. Sometimes we had bad uh, experiences in life. And so uh, we, got, we got hurt in the, what we were told was love. And so we say, oh, I, I'm going to put up my barrier. But the universe and the divine loves you with all their might. And it's just phenomenal the amount of love that is available to experience. That makes sense. I mean, who did the universe, like what's the most influential person the universe directed to you? And that got your, you know, like a confirmation I use, like a confirmation when you hear something your way and then somebody else tells you, like what's one of the most influential people who did this, was, who, who in confirmed or gave you more great details from what you were already Well, I'd, I'd have to say it's my spiritual teacher and it's not really a person. It was a, a spirit, uh, an entity that was channeled through a person that gave seminar, and the the channel of the entity was Jack Purcell, and the entity itself was Lazarus, L-A-Z-A-R-I-S, Lazarus. And um, I've gone to about 40 years of seminars on a regular basis, and I in, learned an immense, an immense amount of useful and helpful information and uh, basically taught me all the things that I know about other realms and what it means to connect and, and what to get out of it. Mm, okay. So what are your tips? Like, what do you want to give somebody else to do? Like their steps and everything you've learned from these things tremendously. What exactly, what final tips do you want to share, get everybody to understand? Well, I, I wear many hats, but I'm going to use the one as a healer. So if you want to become a healer, you learn one modality. Doesn't matter which one. A very popular modality is Reiki. Reiki is very easy to learn. Uh, quantum touch is another one. It doesn't matter. You, you learn one modality and you put out a shingle. Doesn't matter how good, how bad you are. You learn by doing it. You not you don't learn by going to classes and yeah, you, the basic information, but you really learn by doing it. And know that if you decide to become a healer, anybody who comes to you, you're equipped to deal with. The universe functions in such a way that they will not send you people that you're not qualified to deal with. So 
regardless, if you just limp along and do a little bit, it's still going to be better for them than if they hadn't come to you. If you feel uncomfortable charging, do it for free for a while. And then you charge a nominal fee and eventually you increase your fees and you can live off it. You can make a living. But do not wait until you quote unquote, oh, I'm this, and now I know how to do it and start. No, you just know the tiny little bit and put a shingle out. That makes sense. I mean, actions speak louder than words, reality. <laughs> One thing I've noticed on that. So just doing the things and I just see about hmm, making sure because I literally, all I drink is water. I do the water, but I can't act. The other water that I saw that most people don't know is coconut water. And I love just getting both. It's just like being able to get something that's a little bit sweeter. And it's gone there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you got the water all over you. <laughs> we always okay. learn to do our own. It's, called, it's really a half a gallon, but your eight cups is really the strong angle. That's awesome. That's awesome. Did I just carry that one over there as well? Sure. Awesome. I've been overcoming the epilepsy one. Now you can't even see my water. <laughs> yeah, that's a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> No, that's what that is. Like it's and my new habit because I don't even drink um anything else but water. So that's why I'm just very grateful. It's just like oh okay, just keeping everything clear, just keeping your body smooth. So I'm just awesome. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just direct everybody to hit you up over there at your website, the IHealYourPain.com, and the, and you'll give people more actions and more moves that they can be doing things he was freeing their mind and healing hearing hearing directly from the spirit personally personally indeed get that one out there okay well that's nice well i just thank you for coming and sharing your loving steps your steps and you can get more people to see that this is the angle that they can come and just free their mind and feel much better all right well you're most welcome I wish everybody here all the best. And and uh, maybe I'll see you uh, one day doing my free healings. You're definitely welcome. And uh, besides that, thank you for having me on your show. And be well and farewell. Thank you. Because you heal the deep things. Huh? You heal like people going. So many people go through cancer and diabetes. So you'll help people with that as well. Indeed. Oh, okay. So healing those are <laughs> different. Okay. Well, we look forward to understanding and healing. Um, understanding, hearing how you'll heal some more. So we look forward to those steps. All the best. Mm -hmm.